High Court Justice has dismissed the case challenging the seven days ultimatum set by Uganda Communications Commission to have all SIM cards registered. The justice says he could not make a ruling on a case because it was overtaken by events. The government had earlier ordered the Uganda Communications Commission to extend the seven days ultimatum to 30 days for all Ugandans to have their SIM cards registered or else they would be switched off. Speaking to journalists after the dismissal of the case, Abdul Salam Waiswa, head of the Uganda Communications Commission legal team, said 200,000 SIM cards have been validated since the deadline was set, so there will be no need to have another extension. What they have done is a good action. It is true that the one month people were given has been adequate for every Ugandan to obtain a national ID and to validate their phones. So we urge all Ugandans not to use any excuses, not to hide the law behind the law and derail government's effort to improve our security situation. We urge all Ugandans to comply with this directive and ensure that their mobile phones are properly validated in order to avoid the implications and the consequences of non-registration. Because indeed, tomorrow after midnight, the phones will be deactivated. The applicants, who are the Jobless Brotherhood, are also challenging the whole SIM card registration process and have been asked to report back to court on the 18th of June for the hearing of the case. We are still witnessing the hide and seek tendencies in the judiciary because we were here with our team, with the Jobless Brotherhood team, and the entire, uh, rather our lawyers yesterday when we go to the date fixed for the interim order to be had today at nine. Surprisingly though, uh, his, uh, uh, his worship, uh, 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 Musota, chose to rather throw our uh, application in the same regard.